Ever wondered what would happen if you accidentally turned your parents into kids again? In today's funny story joke, get ready for a wild ride of youth elixirs, unexpected surprises, and a punchline that will leave you laughing. In the bustling heart of a small suburban town lived a young girl with a mind sharper than a surgeon's scalpel. She aced her final high school exams harder than a squirrel cracking a safe with a walnut. It was the kind of academic performance that would make the local news anchor fumble for words. She wasn't just smart, she was a genius, the kind of kid who made even the school's toughest teachers feel like they needed to hit the books again. Her parents, bless their cotton socks, cheered her on from the sidelines, proud as peacocks. But deep down, they were secretly hoarding ramen and praying that their retirement plan didn't involve them living at the zoo so she could attend the best university in America. The day her acceptance letter arrived was like Christmas in July. The parents did a happy dance in the kitchen, but as they read through the financial requirements, their smiles slowly melted away like ice cream on a hot day. Tuition, books, living expenses, it all added up faster than a caffeinated mathlete. But they were determined. And so, with a deep breath and a credit card that groaned in protest, they sent their daughter off to chase her dreams. Little did they know, the adventure was just beginning. Three years later, the family was still knee-deep in student loans, ramen, and prayer. The parents had become masters of budgeting, turning every penny into a dollar with their creative accounting. Just when they thought they couldn't tighten the belt any further, the phone rang. On the other end, their daughter's voice crackled with the kind of excitement that made you worry the neighbors might call the cops. Turns out, university wasn't just for overpriced ramen and existential dread. She'd aced her first degree. She was now officially smarter than the average bear, with a diploma to prove it. But with great power comes great responsibility, or in this case, a massive debt that could rival a small island nation's GDP. To repay the parental loan, it was guinea pig time. She had concocted a formula so groundbreaking, it made Einstein's theories look like child's play. Her invention? A youth elixir that promised to reverse aging faster than you could say bibs. One sip. She claimed. I and you'd be back in diapers quicker than a time machine on overdrive. Her parents, eyes twinkling with the kind of mischief usually reserved for kids sneaking cookies before dinner, accepted the challenge. But only drink one teaspoon per day. She warned, her voice stern as a drill sergeant. The parents, of course, nodded dutifully. But inside, they were already plotting their youthful escapades. Six months passed in a blur of homework, lab coats, and phone calls home. The daughter, now a rising star in the scientific community, finally found time to visit her parents. She walked through the front door, expecting the familiar sight of her aging, albeit still sprightly, parents. Instead, what she saw made her eyes bug out like a cartoon character who just saw their tax bill. Standing in the living room was a woman who looked like she had just welcomed herself to the dirty 20s, never mind the 30s. Her mother, who once had a few gray hairs and laugh lines, now sported a body that would make Shakira jealous and a laugh that could cure a hangover. Mom, what happened to you? You look fabulous, but where's dad? She stammered, her brain short-circuiting from the shock. Her mother, a sound that was now as youthful as her appearance. Well, that's the weirdest story. You see, the third night after he started drinking your formula, he got so sour that I was getting younger faster than him. He didn't like that one bit, so he downed the whole bottle of age to young in one go. Oh no, Mom. Where is Dad now? The daughter asked, her heart pounding with dread. The mother smiled her eyes twinkling with a mix of love and exasperation as she turned to reveal the baby on her back. The bastard is on my back.
If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.